Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of inventory management system and uh, online inventory management system you can say. So in this video tutorial, first of all just uh, adding some more uh, models like bank related models and uh, uh, you can say that uh, uh, that model is uh, mandatory for uh, each and every inventory projects because uh, a bank received some uh, uh, money or you can say the currency so uh, that detail is um, adding into your database table that is bank and name and the description about the bank and what currency accepted by the bank so the currency is also added in the project so you know that inventory is like a ERP system enterprise uh, relation projects and uh, you can say uh, each and every module just I want to cover it in this video so wait for some times I will cover all such videos related to the users details related to the bank details related to the product and items detail and related to the data seedings project so each and every uh, video is necessary for to watch in the detail section and the next one is the number sequence uh, like uh, integer ID, integer string, name and in later videos uh, I will cover all such things related to the uh, videos ok so wait for some times and I will cover uh, such data context and uh, uh, such uh, in connection string of the project and uh, architecture of the project and uh, you can say the CRUD operations uh, performed between the models so everyone so here we have a number sequence that is name, module, prefix, last number that is. So each and everything is required in the number sequence and what is the number sequence actually uh, I have created. Wait for some time so I will uh, later on discuss on this topic. Okay. So the next one is uh, that is the oops received not is actually uh, it's not a class. So just add a new empty file and not cs receive not okay
so after that you have to uh, add a application db context in inventory.wab and just i want to add the db context in the repository so add a new class file that is application db context and that db context is actually inherited with the db context also but i am going to add identity db context so here we have identity db context and you know that identity db context is actually existing in the microsoft dot aspnet core dot identity dot entity framework core so just add that new new good package uh, in the library so just right click on your project name and select manage nuget package and here we have oops not uh, okay select uh, manage nuget package on the browse tab just you have to search identity only and uh, by using the identity you can say it's all such things are uh, getting from this line so here we have and also select this uh, project microsoft.aspnet core.identity.entity framework core and your uh, project version is 6.0 so related version is also downloaded and you notice that uh, i have al already uh, 7.0 uh, but uh, we are working in 6.0 so just select the high, uh, higher version of the 6.0 and also make the uh, constructor in which you can initialize the con connection string so make it a constructor so db context options application db context options base class and in which you can pass options okay and the next one is public db set application user and each and every uh, you can say that model just initialize it here so you can do like app user bank bill bill type branch brand uh, currency customer customer type invoice invoice type and and all so mentioned it looking like that in the db set
okay so uh, each and every steps are uh, clear now after that you have to add a new helper class uh, a new folder helper class and in the helper class you have to oops delete in the utility folder you uh, you have already a new project in the in the form of the utility so you can just add a new helper class and in which you can uh, add some static details like the project roles like uh, any other like uh, admin details so here we have identity options and also admin details you uh, you want to add it uh, and you know that we have some uh, identity options also there and also we have some, ad some admin details like a username and the passwords I want to add a admin user in the application so here we have the public class identity option is there like public string email and you notice that super admin account just I want to add it so just uh, change the name that is super admin so here we have to change like that super admin and in which you can store email and the passwords and that super admin is also add some details like email and the password also add in the app settings.json file okay